Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> Surprise, bitch. I bet you thought you'd seen the last of me. Hey, guy. <clears throat> My God, hey, guys. Should I listen here? And today we are watching The Haunting of Blind Manor, episode six. Last episode, which I've just watched, and I probably still seem a little bit red in the eyes, was an episode that I um, just didn't need in my life, to be honest. It was a lot to take in. Um, of course, we know now that Hannah is dead. And she died literally seconds before Danny showed up. Fucking hell, Danny, if you'd been a little bit earlier, wouldn't have happened anyway. <sighs> and she relived all of her, like, memories, like her life was flashing before her eyes, but we finally got to the part where she was, you know, the moment she died, and then the very end she tried, to, oh, and she was like, I want to go to Paris, and she fucking can't, and I'm just like, it's ruined my emotions, the fact that there will now not be a Owen and... Hannah Paris spin-off. <sighs> anyway, we also found out that Peter Quinn is in fact dead and was killed by the random ass lady in the lake, which I believe is that Veronica woman that we saw the tombstone of a couple of episodes ago. That's obviously not Jessel. So we saw him die and he, him or part of him, went inside of Miles and that's why Miles is being a dick. So feel sorry for Miles now because I was being bit horrible to him but he um it's because Pete Quinn's a dick and Pete Quinn subsequently ended up killing Hannah which annoyed me more because I wanted her to kill him but anyway so without further ado I just want to get into this episode because it's a bit longer and I didn't know how long my battery's gonna last on this camera so without further ado <laughs> let's dive right into it here we go I'm here darling that's my girl my girlfriend. Oh my girl. Um. She's got the same dress on as the lady in the lake. I'm confused. I don't, I'm not sure if he's. Is that his kid as well? Um, the look he gave her. Is that his child? Did they have an affair? It's been a little strange lately. Everything's been a bit strange, really. And no Owen. No you. I seem to see less and less of him. Oh, don't say that. She just goes out, I guess. By herself. Sometimes I just turn around and, and she's gone. Oh. I don't know. What's going on now? Is Rebecca inside her? Jesus. Well, that's going to be awkward because we don't want to see uh, Rebecca and um, Peter rekindle their love anytime soon, do we? That's the case. Oh, hello. Hello. Uncle Henry slept over. In one of the guest rooms. And that's I was just Flora, saying... That Flora is his now. daughter. Yes. And I, I just heard you say there was someone in your room. Come, see. Why aren't I five years old? I'm not five years old. I'm eight years old. Why is my age all wrong? You know why. No, I don't. I don't. Tell me, go on. Because this is a memory. Mm. That's right. I've been tucked away again in another memory. Don't know who you're trying to hide from. Yeah, I just bit I'm angry. Might as well come in. He's always smiling. And this is called like the Jolly Corner or something in this episode. The Jolly something, so maybe this guy's the, the so, Jolly. The calls are spooking them. You oh, so it. he's calling them and putting the phone down. Why? The Scholarship Society. <laughs> well, they should Is he dead as well? They? <laughs> They've had years to and figure it out. And he can't leave. The receptionist could handle this. <gasps> Hannah! How is she? She slept all day. Mm. No fever, though, I keep checking. Poor thing must be exhausted. 
We, we missed you this afternoon. But you went off too. Oh, um, I'm not... Well, I suppose I was around. Oh, good night. You're still here? Yeah, oh, yes. Yeah, had to wash up. Besides, I was asked to stay behind. Oh. Now, who would ask you to do that? <clears throat> Can't you just live there with her? All of them? All, All of them. them. <clears throat> Even you. Well, if, I'm not being funny, it's it's pouring down there. If somebody Especially brought me, me, like, if my date took me to, like, the middle of the woods and it's pouring down, so I figured I'd, be like, I'd save you some effort. It's not a leaf, not a branch, not a flower in his world. And when he finally climbs out of that grave, finally climbs back to the land of the living, they laugh at him. They laugh because the whole town knows that the new baby... Mm. And he's like, I've never been more turned on in my life. <laughs> See it? I know you're carrying this guilt around, but I also know that you don't decide who lives and who doesn't. Sorry, Danny, but you don't. Humans are organic. It's a fact. We're meant to die. It's natural. I hope this guy doesn't turn back up. Look what your brother's brought. It's terrific. I'm sorry I can't make the birthday party. You know, I'm about to confront you. I'll call you when I get to Nocturnal Berlin. Nocturnal events. Sounds perfect. Flora's out and about again. Flora! Flora! Flora, what are you doing? Where am I? What's happening? Are you okay? Were you sleepwalking again? I don't... I don't know. I think I was tucked away again. Okay, come on, let's go inside. Why does this keep happening? I don't know. Oh, but I wish I did. Uh, what, what are you trying to... Are you trying to find... I don't understand what this connection is. Hey. Is he? Why is everyone going... What's the sort of with memories? Those in the car, eh? You keep the office, is what this is. What are you talking about? I don't want to see any of this ever again. How stupid you must have thought of me. It's going to be fine. It's just a few weeks. <laughs> I think you're, both, you're going to die, but... I'm with you. A couple of weeks is a terribly long time. This is called a talisman. I used to make them. Well, sometimes I still do. Old habits. I've made them since I was your age, really. What does it do? Well, it protects people and it keeps them happy. I think you should have took it with you, darling. You've eaten dinner without me. What? what? Flora, why? You already ate in your room. I only made you sleep. It was some of my best work. I don't remember that. I told you she wasn't herself. God. She seemed fine. But weird. You what he thinks Flora's going to answer? Yes, say. Flora residence? Unlikely. I know. There's a lot more to it than that. A lot more to it. That's why it's so hard. You're mistaken. This is then. It was hell. Every time is hell. No. That hell. wasn't the worst of it. Like, not so even is it just a part their of him? Are burying those empty coffins. What are you doing? Going. What? I'm going to Bly. <laughs> That's insane. It's a three hour drive and you've been drinking all, well, for two years really. There's no reason. This is where we saw all the dolls, where the one went like. <laughs> There you are. Don't be scared. I'm sorry I was scared before. 
That was very rude of me. <laughs> but I thought I'd give you a story. You poor boy. I'm so sorry about your face. Why did the East Coast say? Here. Try this. Like the lady in the lake have the same sort of thing. There. There you are. Now let's come up with a story. Just for you. I've done it again, haven't I? Tucked away again in another memory. Because the night I did this, the night I gave you a new face, I was only just five years old, wasn't I? Why do you keep doing this to me? Just tell me. Why do you keep pushing me aside, Miss Jessel? Come on now. No more. I don't like what, this game. Just playing it? Stop hiding from me. I want to talk to you. I'm very cross with you. But why? Everything is just fine. It's perfectly It's not. I'm tired of no, being just... tucked away. I'm tired of forgetting things, and I'm tired <laughs> of acting strange. And of Miles acting strange. What's the matter with Miles? Miles is perfectly splendid, except when he isn't. Isn't splendid? Isn't Miles. Yeah, she's like, oh shit, it's Peter. No, don't do that. You mustn't keep doing that. Clara? Come here. It's okay. It's only with Jessel. Why can she see her now? Miles! Flora. So, Flora. Is, she, so is Rebecca Flora. and her? Flora. Flora. She touched her the same that Peter Flora. touched Miles. Flora, where are you? Flora! Flora, we gotta go! Come on! I'm sorry. So... <laughs> have both of these kids been... Uh, Okay guys, so that was episode 6. Interesting episode. A lot more of the past has been revealed to us. Um, I, I clicked on straight away with that look that she gave um, Henry in the first like few minutes, seconds of it, that there was, you know, something going on between them. And of course, he didn't know the time, but Flora is his child. Also really nice to see a bit more of the, the parents and and why they went away and again it sort of adds to Henry's character to why he is the way he is and he drinks and because he, he blames himself for it because of course it was the reason they went away was because of, of the affair. I'm interested to know if we find out how they died because he was like, you can tell them how they died. Um, I suppose they just don't know. Plot. Oh, imagine if it's murder suicide. That would be interesting. But then he said it was an accident, so probably not. Um, also, really, I don't know what's going on with Flora. I don't know if I, I can. The only thing I can assume is that Rebecca is you either in her like Peter is with Miles or is using her as a go for I don't know between things because at the end there it was Miles in the background so I don't know if it's like a Rebecca and Peter situation happening um, where they're both trying to do I don't know do something I'm not sure I guess we'll find out um, in the next couple of episodes but yeah it was 
it was a good one and it was really nice also to get more of Danny and Jamie's relationship and of course they seem to be happy well I don't know she might be pretty killed now but uh, what was going on at the end there or well, she is in trouble so I'm intrigued to see, see where that goes and of course it was lovely to see Hannah again <laughs> um, and Owen and, and their relationship as well but a really key one of course with this was it was again it was about relationships it was about Danny and Jamie and of course the relationship between, um, I can't remember the mother's name, the mother's name, was it? I can't remember, her and Dominic, and then of course her and Henry, and, and that. So it was it was a really good one, I really liked it, a bit more of the backstory, and that's what I kind of like, it keeps you, it adds a bit more, so you're like, ah oh, yeah, that's that, that makes sense now. So, definitely a good one, I enjoyed it, yes. Okay guys, thank you much for watching, if you enjoyed the video, please forget to like, share, comment and subscribe, all my social media in the description box below, and yeah, until next time, see ya.